Hi everybody, my name is Anne. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have for you an EDC setup that is cool in the summer and easily at home in the winter as well. And it's inspired by two of my favorite things. The number one thing is the Rovivon A8. I love this flashlight. It does everything I need and it probably does everything you need as well. It basically can fulfill all of the lighting needs that I have in my life pretty much. Um, and now in the generation four, it has this large button, which is easier to find with gloves on in the winter. This is a fantastic product. But the thing I didn't love about it is its um, appearance. Like here, here it is next to a Swiss Army knife. It just, I don't know, maybe it looks like it goes together. It doesn't look awesome together though. They seem like they're from two different eras. This is from the past, this is from the future. I did think, however, after I got this, that perhaps I would be better suited with a knife that had not the classic red scales or even any regular scales at all, but actually had the silver tech scales. Now I recently damaged my Swiss Champ and had to send it in for repair. And at the same time, this Swiss Champ with these silver tech scales was on sale at Amazon. So I decided to get it and make this video that I've been thinking about for quite a while. I picked up some other things that kind of fit with this clear plastic on the outside, silver on the inside, see through to see the mechanism um, aesthetic that we've got going on here. And I can't wait to show these things to you. Now the Swiss Champ needs no introduction. It is the world's greatest Swiss army knife. I suppose you're free to disagree. If you have another favorite, you can post it in the comment section below. I love to hear about all Swiss army knives. However, I personally love the Swiss Champ and I love that it's available in these cool scales, which I did not appreciate. The reason I think is because I wasn't able to get a good sense of what it actually looked like. And because of that, I spent quite some time trying to get some good pictures that really capture the vibe here. It's clear plastic on the outside and silver on the inside, but there are kind of two tones of silver. There's a very shiny silver that comes over each of the rivets and in a several different other spots, there are very shiny circles. The Victorinox word on the inside where the tweezers are is also uh, a little bit shiny. And and then on the outside of the plastic, there is a shiny symbol of the uh, Victorinox company. But it in person is remarkable. They catch the light in a way that seems kind of special. It really seems almost like uh, moonlight would be the color that I would describe this as. It is actually really beautiful. It is elegant and it's also futuristic and slightly techno. And I think that it really goes along well with the look of the Rovivon A8. Both of them have kind of plastic on the outside and you can either can or you feel like you can see through into the inner workings. Now, if you are interested in getting these 91 millimeter scales or getting a knife in these 91 millimeter scales, I need to warn you that these are not plus scales. In spite of being the most up-to-date and futuristic looking scales, they do not have a slot for the pen. They do have a slot for a pin, but the pin does not come in there. That's okay though, because you have other options for carrying a pen and I've got three different options for you today, all of which are awesome, but let's just jump to the most awesome one at all of all. Here I have the signature light. Now this is basically as the signature light, it's a classic SD, but it does not have a toothpick. It does not have tweezers. Instead it has a light and a pen. So the light is used by pushing the little Victorinox symbol. And the pen is used by sliding forwards this little slider here. And if you wanna use the pen like this, I mean, I think it's, it's fine, I'm okay writing like that, but actually it's better if you extend the nail file and then you have, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a full length pen, but you can see it sticks out beyond my hand there. And it is very reasonably comfortable to write with. In order to change the ink, you literally just pull out the uh, pen and then you can push a new pen in and slide it back and that is it. It looks a little bit different than the SilverTech Swiss Champ 91 millimeter scales, but they look fantastic together. They are just a beautiful pair and they, I don't know, they're just, uh, it almost seems like they shine with light from within. I just really like these scales when I see them in person and I don't know if the video I took is going to actually do it justice, but it truly is beautiful. Nothing else in the lineup today is as beautiful as those, although I think I did come up with some things that are actually pretty cool. So let's keep moving on. 
first I'm going to start with this pen case. Now it is branded with a PIIIP tool pen case name. Well, I added this ring here, but there was a little grommet that I could add this ring to, and I have my keychain on there. Now, this pen case is held together with magnetic snaps at the top that close together pretty easily, and they stay together well. Inside here, there are actually multiple compartments. So there is a front compartment. It has a really very silvery and tough feeling piece of plastic that divides the very front from um, this center compartment, and that is where I have these pens right now. And in the back, there is a similar piece of plastic that is dividing back there. In the middle, there is actually a removable separate case here. And so this has its own pockets inside. The center case here, you could actually store something inside here, in front or behind of that case as well. Inside this case, we've got two different pockets, one on the left and one on the right here in front. And then on the inside, there are also two pockets and then the main section here. I've got some cool stuff in there. The uh, pocket over here is a good size for credit cards. However, if you are going to put credit cards in this case, you will want to close this regular non-magnetic snap. Otherwise, as this case moves around, you can actually lose your cards right out of here. Let's move on to some other cool items we have here. I have two pens. Each of these pens is by Pilot. This is the Pilot Kakuno, K-A-K-U-N-O, and the U has an umlaut on it for some reason. And inside of it, I have a Con 70 converter. Now, before I put the converter in, it was actually just an ink cartridge that you can put in there, and that is still cool. It looks nice that you can see through there, you can see how much ink is available, um, and it is a very nice pen to use. It writes well, the cap just slips on and off, and this is actually a fairly well-regarded pen for something like under $15. However, when you put the Con70 converter on it, this is an unusual converter. It acts with a push button back here that you press down while the um, whole nib is basically underwater in the ink. And it sucks a bunch of ink into the converter part right here where it holds onto it for you and then you can use it up until you are ready to put some more ink in. The Con70 has this silver section through here and and that is part of what really makes this fit well into this EDC setup. Now here I have also added a clip. This is the Koiko Sport clip, and it fits onto this because it's shaped like an octagon, I think, or a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, seven? Eight. <laughs> it fits on because it's an octagonal top up here, and it gives you a nice deep carry pocket clip that actually does stay on quite well because the um, main top of this pen comes in right here, and so as it comes in, that's where the pen um, clip comes to rest, and it stays there, and it feels very sturdy. And again, we've got the combination of clear plastic and shiny metal that looks really nice together, and it does go with the general aesthetic from the Swiss Champ scales. Now, I've mentioned previously that I'm going to be doing a video pretty soon about multi-pens, and this one is going to make the list. This is the High Tech C Coletto multi-pen. I will go over this briefly because it's a little bit different from some other multi-pens. First of all, the top opens up like this, and inside here you can place different ink cartridges. All right, I'm gonna slide that right in, and then I can close the top, and that pen is completely ready to use. This acts like any other multi-pen, and when I push the black down, it's ready to go. Push any other one, and it will pop up. This is a very nice product if you want to have several different kinds of ink, it is easy to replace these, it is very easy to use, it's very affordable, and again, I like this clear plastic look with the metal inside. I think this is a fun appearance for a really fun pen. I have waited quite a while before I bought a knife from Ontario Knife Company. And I've had this for less, I had had this for I think less than maybe two weeks when Ontario Knife Company announced that they're gonna be closing. I cannot believe it. So I did go online and buy some other knives because I mean, why not? It's a good, it's a really good excuse to get some knives from a company that I really um, have appreciated from afar. Anyway, what we have here is I think a very special knife. I couldn't find anything else like this. This is the Ontario Knife Company Ice Wraith, W-R-A-I-T-H. And it is a one-handed opening, although I gotta say it's a little bit crunchy and I think I need to oil this. Um, a one-handed opening knife. 
it is a, I believe this is a back lock. And the cool thing about this is you can see just how this functions. When I push on here, then you can actually see this little segment over here, if I can make it visible, lifts up. And that's what allows the knife to unlock. And I've really been enjoying using it. May I say this fits great in my hand. I do wear size medium medical gloves if that helps anybody out there. And it feels very secure. This lock feels very secure. And I don't so much mind the grindiness of this because I think this knife, I think I got it for something like $15, $20. It is a really, really nice product for that price. And that is really what Ontario Knife Company has been known for. So it is too bad that we are losing this uh, company from the market now. May I say, if clear is not your thing, they actually have this in a bunch of different colors as well. And I can picture another EDC with like maybe clearish blue or clearish red, because I think it comes in both of those as well. And now we're going to take a look at one of the most elegant parts of this EDC setup. This is a swatch watch. It is the clearly black setup. A black stripe runs all the way behind the band and behind the watch itself, which really allows all of the silver internal workings to show off here. It is very beautiful. Slightly disappointing to me is that you cannot see the actual dials moving on a regular basis, unlike an automatic watch where you could see all of these things ticking around in there. With a quartz watch like this, it doesn't do a whole lot of moving unless you're adjusting the time. It is, however, a very beautiful watch with visible internal workings. It is very showy and has gotten me tons of compliments and a lot of people seem to be getting a lot of nostalgia from this. If this particular watch isn't exactly what you're looking for, but you're looking for something along these lines, Swatch has a really nice collection of Clearly watches that is available right now. I do, however, want to show you one thing that I feel I did not understand enough. Just listen. Can you hear it? The watch is always ticking at me. It's something to get used to. I'm used to it now, but at first I kind of was looking for an alligator sneaking up behind me. So this is something that I almost never have on the channel. This is a Bic lighter. Now, this is just a standard Bic lighter, but it is inside a waterproof case. It opens like this, and then you can use your lighter regularly like that. It would be nice if there were some just plain shiny silver Bic lighters. That would be awesome. And next up is the Kokuyo Campus Notebook. This is a loose leaf notebook with a clear plastic cover in this case and a binding that is also clear plastic, but although it functions like a spiral notebook, it's not. And in fact, this spiral notebook opens on the edge so you can take the pages out, rearrange them, store them in another notebook. This has been a game changer for me as it has allowed me to modify the bullet journal method that you might have heard of before to be way, way more efficient and useful for me personally. The things I enjoyed the most out of this EDC collection are the two Swiss Army knives, the Rovivon A8 flashlight, the notebook, which really made a big difference in its functionality for me, and surprisingly to me, I loved having this EDC pouch that allowed me to see what was inside, hide some things that needed to be hidden, and really keep things organized in a way that tied the whole aesthetic together. So those are my favorite things from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you like out of the video? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you know of other things that are clear on the outside and shiny metal on the inside, <laughs> then make good EDC items. Put a note below. Thank you so much for watching.